Welcome to PHT in the Morning with your host, Pastor David Miller from the Pentecostal Holiness Tabernacle in Cincinnati, Ohio. Good morning and welcome to another episode of PHT in the Morning with Pastor David Miller. I want to share a story with you this morning that I had read just the other day. And it was telling about a man that was uh, walking on this road and sidewalk, actually. And it he didn't realize it. And all of a sudden, he looked and he saw there was a, an icy patch, very icy patch. But he thought since it was only a few steps that he would be all right. And he stepped on the ice and he and his feet went out from under him. And he fell very hard. And he was fortunate because nearby, there was another gentleman there. And that gentleman just walked over to him and stretched out his hand and said, Nick, do you need a hand? And the man said, yes. And he just reached down and he grabbed the man and he helped lift him up back on his feet. And when he started to walk quickly, The gentleman said to him, maybe you should just stand there for a moment and steady yourself. And of course he did. And he was very uh, grateful and thankful because he was able to uh, get up without breaking any bones and was able to go on about his day. Now, I I feel like there's some of us, sometimes we find ourselves just like that. We find ourselves flattened on the cold ice of life's hardships. And really, we just need a helping hand. Uh, When whatever it is we're facing, whatever it is we're going through, or even if we have failed the Lord, we find ourselves slipped and fell. And we need someone to just say, uh, do you need a hand? Can I help you up? To pray for them and to try to get them back on their feet and steady them to where they can uh, go about their life effectively once again. And there's a scripture that I looked at, and I think it goes perfect with this story. And that is found in Ecclesiastes chapter 4 and verse number 9. That verse says, two are better than one because they have a good reward for their labor. And verse 10 said, for if they fall, the one will lift up his fellow. But woe to him that is alone when he falleth, for he hath not another to help him up. Those are some powerful words. And he said, two are better than one. If they fall, the one can help lift the other one up. But woe to that man that has no one to help him up when he falls. And I think that's, uh, I think that's quite a a tragedy to be in that, uh, uh, condition. But thank God, uh, to be able to have, uh, someone there to just reach down and give us a helping hand. Now, I don't know, uh, everyone I'm talking to this morning, uh, you may, you may say, well, brother, I've, I've never needed that. I've never failed. But I'm sure I'm talking to a lot of folks today that's the opposite of that. You have slipped and you fell along life's uh, highway. Maybe you uh, was doing really good, but you took that wrong step or you made that mistake and you found yourself falling down on the cold ice of life's uh, situations and hardships. But what you need is a helping hand. You need somebody to say, I'll stand here with you. I'll help you up. I'll stand beside you. I'll help you get steadied. I'll help you get back on track and back uh, on your way. We need someone there to help us when we find ourselves in this situation. I want to ask you, though, out there today that's listening, uh, you, may, you may say, well, I'm the one that fell, and I need a helping hand. But are you willing to be that helping hand if you find someone else 
that has fell? And are you willing to reach out your hand and say, I'll lift you up. If you need a hand, I'll help you. You know, actually, there's another there's another uh, story in the Bible I really love. In the book of Luke, chapter number 10. And the Bible says there that uh, uh, Jesus uh, said there was a certain man that went down from Jerusalem to Jericho, verse 30. And he said he fell among thieves, which stripped him of his raiment, wounded him, and departed and left him half dead. Now, in this story, this man was, he was just uh, headed from Jerusalem, Jericho, and he fell among thieves. So uh, this was a different type of fall. These men had beat him and wounded him, robbed him, even stripped him of his raiment and left him there half dead. But the Bible said in that next verse, by chance, there came down a certain priest that way. When he saw him, he passed by on the other side. And then he said, likewise, a Levite, when he was at the place, came and looked on him and passed by on the other side. But a certain Samaritan, as he journeyed, came to where he was. And when he saw him, he had compassion upon him. And he went to him and bound up his wounds, pouring in oil and wine, and set him on his own beast, and brought him to an inn, and took care of him. And then on the morrow, the next day, when he had to leave and depart, he took out two pence and gave it to the host and said, Take care of him. Whatsoever he spend is more. Then when I come again, I will repay thee. Now, Jesus said, Which one of you thinks that he was the, the neighbor or the good uh, neighbor unto him that fell among the thieves? Now, if you notice, the Bible said there was a priest that came by. And he, did, he saw the man in that condition, but he walked right on by him. And then a Levite, another uh, uh, religious, very religious person, he saw him. But the Bible said he even came and looked at him, verse 32. He walked to where this man was, laying down, beaten, stripped of his clothes, robbed, and left half dead. He came and just looked at him and then walked right on by. Now, I hope, I hope that if you would ever find yourself uh, in a situation like that in life, that someone would stop and say, let me give you a hand up. Let me help you up. I certainly want to be that kind of a, of a man, that kind of a Christian. I don't want to just come by and look and say, wow, that man looks bad. He looks like he's beat about half to death. I wonder who done that. And then keep right on walking. But a, a certain Samaritan, which had really no dealings with Jews, but he came, and when he saw him, he came to where he was also now. But when he saw him, he had compassion on him. You know, a lot of times if somebody falls, uh, instead of having compassion and saying, do you need a hand up? We put our foot on them and, and, and just push them right back down. God help us. God forbid that we would have that kind of an attitude. And I, I've met a lot of folks that have started out right, but they have uh, fell along life's highway, found themselves backslidden and uh, away from God. But Somebody prayed, somebody talked to them, somebody helped them, somebody gave them a helping hand, and they came back and renewed their commitment to the Lord. And that's what I'm trying to talk to you about here uh, this morning. Now, not only did he have compassion, but he done something about that compassion he had for him. He went to him and bound up his wounds, helped him up naturally, poured in oil and wine, and put him on his own beast, his form of transportation 
of that day. But he put him on his own beast. And then he brought him to an inn, uh, or we would call it a motel today, and took care of that man. Not only did he just have compassion, but I want you to notice the depth of that verse in verse 34. He, he poured in oil and wine, or in other words, medicines, bound him up or bandaged him up, put him on his own beast, brought him to this place where he could stay and stayed there that day and took care of him. And then on the next day when he had to leave, he pulled out money and gave it to the person that took care of the inn and said, whatever he needs, uh, this should cover it and go ahead and give it to him. But in other words, but if he don't have enough, go ahead and take care of whatever he needs. When I come back, I will repay you myself. What a great story that is. And I'll tell you, church, or I say church all the time, forgive me. I'll tell you, folks, honestly, honestly, you may find yourself in a position like that. You know, the man I told you about in the start of the podcast, you know, he just saw a little bit of ice and thought, I'm fine, it's just two or three steps. But he found himself falling, fallen and hurt pretty bad. Thank God somebody was there to lift him up. So be careful. Don't be judgmental. You see someone in that state, remember your own self because you too could slip and fall if you're not consistently careful and praying and seeking God. I'm not telling you to uh, purposely go ahead and just fall because somebody be there. Matter of fact, the Bible said, woe unto that man that has no one there when he falls. So we as Christians, we ought to be there. And if we see someone in that fallen state, we need to be like that gentleman when the man fell on the ice and just say, need a helping hand. Reach down, help lift him back up. Praise God. I'm feeling good here this morning. And that's, that's the way we ought to be, folks. Amen. So as, as you journey uh, through your life, there'll be many folks you might see and you might not notice it at, I mean, at the exact moment, but you might see somebody that's fell or about to fall and all they need is a little help, a little help back up, uh, an encouraging word or Pray for them. Tell them, I'm, I'm going to pray with you. I'm going to pray for you. And if we could just be, more of us have more of a helping hand, I believe, I really believe that our church will be stronger. I believe the, that the kingdom of God would be stronger if we would just offer a helping hand to each other. That scripture, I'm going to give it to you one more time. Before we go off uh, of our podcast, if I may, in Ecclesiastes chapter number four, let me give it to you again. The Bible said, let me find it here. I just about lost it. Verse nine, two are better than one because they have a good reward for their labor. For if they fall, the one will lift up his fellow. But woe to him that is alone when he falleth for he hath not another to help him up. Sometimes we just need to be helped back up. So you see somebody that fell? You see somebody that needs a little help? Why don't you consider not doing what the Levite and the priest did, just walk over and look at them, but offer a helping hand. Just say, do you need a hand? Let me help you. Well, God bless you. I hope that I have helped you today. I hope this has been an encouragement to you today. And we enjoy sharing these few moments of time with you once a week. And I hope you continue to listen because the only reason we're doing this is to try to be a help to somebody. So if you would, whatever podcast site 
you're listening to, uh, if you would share, like, and follow, or if it's one like YouTube, subscribe, and we would appreciate that. God bless you is our prayer. Have a great rest of your day. Thank you.